Hi everyone, it's Patty Behan, and thank you for joining me in the studio. In this video, I'm going to show you how to stencil with liquid pearls. This is a great way to make a soft, shimmery background. So let's get started. Right, to begin, what you need is a stencil, and I'm working on the Wendy Make Art Station, and I have a piece of white cardstock, and my liquid pearls, uh, mini blending tool with foam, and make sure you have a container of water ready so that you can clean your stencil off right away. And I also am working on the Ranger silicone mat. That kind of keeps your station in place. It's nice as a second work surface. All right, so to begin, I'm just going to place my stencil centered onto my card here and I'm working on the non-stick craft sheet and I'm going to be putting my liquid pearls here so that's why I'm over to the side a little bit and then I'm going to place my magnets to hold things in place and I'm going to be starting at the top and I'm going to be using some robin's egg first and I'm going to put a generous amount here onto the craft sheet because it does take quite a bit. And then I have lightning is my second color. And we can always add more later, but I just want to have enough to be ready to start. And then what you want to do is just dab your blending tool into the paint and then once you have a good amount of coverage on there, you just kind of stipple through the stencil, pressing it in. And I kind of like press it and twist. And I'm going to see that I need some more here. And your first pass is very light. And you can leave it like that if you want a very, very subtle background. But you can go ahead and just keep layering. And we don't want to have like a tremendous amount of paint at a time because then it might go through the cracks. So I'm going to probably go about a third of the way down with this color until I get the right look. And you can always come back to it too if you decide you want to add more. Oops, I'm going to add a little bit more. I need to get darker on this side over here. Okay, I think that's good for now. I'm gonna come back and next thing I'm going to do is yellow. And you'll see, since yellow and blue makes green, you get a nice little blend here at the seam. You'll see it later when I take it off. And then I'm just gonna use this color all the way down at the bottom because later on I'm going to be using this on this card here and I wanted more yellow at the bottom. And again, you want it for a design aspect, you don't wanna make things in equal parts. You always wanna have like odd, dimensions. Just makes more interest in the design of your cards. Then you can use this whole um, piece as your background or you could just use parts of it and cut it up, which is another good way to use this technique. I just need a little bit more here. And this is looking really nice. And I think I'm just going to add a little bit more blue and blend this a little bit more at that seam here. And so about your foams, when you're doing this technique, you want to clean your foams right away if you want to reuse them. So I have a bucket of water here and I'm going to go ahead now that I'm finished and stick those in there so that you can reuse them. Otherwise they dry out and you can't use them again. 
So I'm just gonna make sure I turn these over so that they soak a little bit. And now I'm ready to remove the stencil. I'll carefully move the magnets away while I'm holding the stencil. And then I'm gonna lift this up carefully as well. And we're gonna just let this sit here and dry. And then we're gonna come back and finish this up. Okay, so now that it's dry, we're ready to put our card together. And I'm just gonna take this up and I'm gonna cut this to about um, two and a quarter inches. And this is just to show you how you could use this as a full background or just use a piece of it. And then you have another piece over here, you can use it on another card. And you can use just a piece of it and then use this for another card. And now we're gonna glue this down and I'll get some double-sided tape here. And I need a pair of scissors. And actually, I'm just gonna put one piece there, here, another piece over here, and I'll take off the liner paper. Since I have the blue at the bottom here and the yellow here, I want to put the blue at the top. And I'm just going to put this flush to the edge. Just like so. And I already put some tape on the back of this one. And I'll take it off. Sometimes when your fingers make the tape warm, it's a little tricky to pull the liner off. But, and then we want to put this sitting at the bottom because we don't want it floating. We want it to sit on something. And then I use double-sided dimensional clear adhesive for my sentiment just to give it a little bit of lift and interest. And I'll stick it right here. And then there you have it. We have this subtle background that has a pearlescent shine to it. And then let me show you what else we did. This is a fun technique, so I have a lot of examples for you. This is using all of our fluorescent colors of the liquid pearls, and that's just a fun background. And here was with another stencil and then there's some liquid pearls in the center of the flowers if you can see that and here is where we use just part of it again and you can see how shiny that is it's just a really elegant look and here we just cut out a little piece in the middle and that's a fun look too here we use some of the metallic colors. This is really beautiful. One of my favorites. And then here we have a six by six background stencil. We use the whole stencil for this. And then you have all these beautiful cards and I hope this gives you a great idea for what to do with your stenciling. And for more liquid pearl videos, Keep watching the videos below.